today's show, I'll be interviewing Michael Titus. If y'all would like to give a warm applause. Welcome. 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 Author. Rogue County native. Michael Titus. Hey, Mr. Rogers. How, how are you, how are you doing? Uh, happy to be here. That's great. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, so, um, Mike, uh, you know, I, I know you pretty well, but um, mm-hmm. maybe a lot of people around Roan County and the world don't. Um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? <laughs> the camera. Look at my camera wobbling. Um, it's going to be like the earthquake vision. Maybe we shouldn't lean. Oh, my. Uh, somewhere we're... Oh no, God, don't oh. fall off this. You're freaking me out. Yeah. Oh, Mike comes in and starts editing the, the video process. Okay. Just don't leave it on the couch. Okay. We never listen. When my people invited you to the show, nobody said anything about getting lean on the counter, Mr. Hollywood. Yeah, well, I'll fix it later. Right. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born in eighteen fifty six. No, actually, uh, 1956. Uh, started writing when I was in seventh grade, and have never stopped. So I wrote in college short stories and poetry. Uh, won a bunch of awards, and um, much more importantly, cash, which helped me put my way through school. Um, and then I've been—I uh, wrote six books for the uh, award-winning Flatten Me series. It was a work for hire basis. I just got paid per book. And now I've just uh, finished uh, writing my own book with uh, Julie Miller, The Girl Who Read the Birds. I think Mike came with his own interview today. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I started reading the book uh, a few nights ago, and um, I'm two, three chapters into it. Um, and. Uh, it, it, I'm liking where it's going, and knowing you personally, um, there seems to be a lot of you <laughs> and uh, Avery. Um, the char- the well, character. yeah, I've heard, a lot of people who've read the book have said um, this is really autobiographical, isn't it? Because the, the rule in writing is write about what you know. So a lot of um, uh, fiction is actually autobiographical. Um, I can't say that. There is a lot of Avery, or a lot of me and Avery, but there's also myself and her parents. Um, there's myself and the birds. Um, I didn't have the kind of childhood that Avery has in this book. So it's not autobiographical in that sense. Gotcha. Um, so um, let's, uh, shall we? Shall we talk about beer? We can always talk about beer. In fact, and the lack thereof. Well, yeah, I was going to say, pass me one. <laughs> <laughs> beer me. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, what has been up to? Oh, uh, <laughs> I have been hunting dinosaurs <laughs> in South America. <laughs> Thank you. Thank That's you. a catch line of uh, a video that uh, John and I uh, made. I will. I think it was. Uh, was it Jurassic Had a Park? Jurassic Had a Park. Down here on the screen somewhere, yeah. I'll put the link to that video. But all right, well, Mike, it's been great talking to you today. It's been uh, great to be here. We keep it short and sweet on the John Rogers show. Yep, and and, and, uh, you, and he really pays well too. So if you need an interview, come see this man. On the John Rod Show, the John Rod Show, come on out the John Rogers Show. Please buy this particular book, The Girl Who Read to Birds. You can go to the girl who read to birds dot com. You will not be unhappy with your purchase. Back to the John Rogers show. Now, uh, I want to bring out a friend of mine, uh, name of uh, Chris Smith, and it's not the same Chris Smith that 
is arrested for drugs all the time. That's in the paper. No, this is a different Chris Smith. A Chris Smith you might not know. And uh, everybody, if everybody, please uh, give warm applause to my friend, Chris Smith. Hello, Chris. Hello, John. How are you doing? Good. Now, Chris, you was a little reluctant to do this interview today. Yes, I was. Um, why is that? Uh, well, because one of my friends, Josh Rogers, he likes to pick on me a bunch. Oh, so you, you thought maybe I would pick on you? Yeah, a bunch of stuff. Oh. Well, I'm not going to pick on you, Mike. Or, er, shit. You're the, you're Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mike. Yeah. I'm not going to pick on you, Chris. I'm just, uh, I'm just here to spread the word about, about you. Okay, what's the word? No, uh, Chris has, uh, been a customer, customer of ours, uh, since the early days of Backstage. He used to come over and have me order movies for you all the time. And games. And games, yes sir. Um, now, you're a big fan of, uh, anime. Yes. Right. Uh, what's your what's some of your favorite anime shows? Well, Naruto's one of them because it's got different stuff in it, and Bleach is different as well. And my last favorite one probably about Dragon Ball GT, but it really sucked a little uh, bit about it, the ending stuff. Too. Uh, uh, well, Chris, uh, do you still have your tattoos? Yes, I do. You did. Uh, uh, could you show it off a little bit here and check it out? Alright, here, let's, uh, let's put it up here. Check that out. Um, who done your work here? Rodney. Rodney Harbour? Yeah. 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 Uh, that's a pretty good tattoo, Chris. Um, uh, you like dragons then? Yep. What do, you, do, you, do you like to draw or do you just like to... Um, I like to, if I can, get into the drawing of my art, yeah. Now, um, I know a lot of these uh, anime kids, they like to cosplay, dress up. Do you like to dress no. up? No. As, as an anime star? No, thanks. As a as a toy? No, thanks. And uh, play out roles with Matt? No. Nope. Okay. Well, what are you doing? Just staring into the camera? Yeah, I'm practicing my uh, uh, otherworldly hypnotic mesmerizing glance. Um, Mike just got interviewed uh, about his book, as you may remember, and uh, then decided to become a regular feature on the show. Uh, Chris, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, Mike joined us today. He was an author. Do you know Mike? I met him a couple times. Mike's, uh, Mike's an author, and uh, he writes uh, short stories and, and stuff, and uh, uh, pretty talented guy, but he doesn't draw pictures either. He does make toys, though. And do you like to dress up as cosplay? Frequently. Frequently. Yeah, that's not fair. Well, anyway, uh, that'll be I'll be at Chris. Great seeing you. What is cosplay? Come around any time. And uh, this regard, Mike. On the John Rogers Show. <laughs> this is going to be the best show ever. <laughs> 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 <laughs>